I was riding my bicycle and suddenly the mirror popped off of the holder that's attached to my helmet. Now this is a brand new mirror that I recently purchased at a local bicycle shop here in Bellingham. And you would think it would last longer than probably about a month. I went to the bicycle shop and the only thing they could help me with is to purchase a repair kit. Which means I would have to make another purchase only three months after I purchased the original item. But I thought that was a bit much. And since, since I like to think outside of the box and I like to improvise and try to do my own repairs, I'm going to try to make my own repair to save the $20 for the repair kit at the bicycle shop. Now this is all plastic. So I figure that's why it broke. It's a plastic just simply let go. And it's kind of a weird fitting uh, where the cap broke free. I need to reattach the mirror so it's something like this and in order for it to stay since the original coupling did not work I am probably going to end up drilling a hole here and here and using wire to attach it. Let me zoom in. Right, here is the mirror and here is the attachment that it goes on. So it needs to be something like this. So all I, the smallest drill I have is 1 16th of an inch. I cannot really drill through the ball here because it's too small. I'm going to try to cheat and drill here, which means it will come out the mirror. I'm hoping this is a plastic mirror and I can drill through it. If not, then I'm going to have to go to my diamond glass engraving tools and try to cut a hole through the glass mirror. So. I'm going to take this drill and put it in this drill motor. It's a battery operated drill motor. Now something like that. Now let's see what happens. Now mind you, I've got nothing to lose since this mirror is shot. So let's see if I take the drill and go through say about here. See that? It's starting to go through, which means that this mirror is plastic and I do not have to bother messing around with my glass engraving tools, which is a whole, adds a whole bunch of time. And working with those is very tricky. So let's see if we drill a hole through this, through the mirror part, and through the backing. And look at that. We we now have a hole in the mirror which extends through the, through the back. Now, that, the wire I'll use to tie the mirror onto the stem would go through that hole. Now, I'm going to drill another hole here on the um, sleeve so the wire can be passed through the hole in the mirror, through the hole in the sleeve, and that's how the mirror will be fastened to the sleeve. So let's see what happens if we try to drill this way through the sleeve that holds the mirror. This may be messy and if there's metal in there it can make it worse. It looks like I can't go through that way. I'm going to go through the back of it. Now this came off here but that's okay. Now let's see what we can do here. That, that didn't work out very well. I was unable to drill a hole through the sleeve as it is all rubber and a very thin piece of metal in between and I melted the rubber so I gave up on that idea. My next idea, plan B, will be to try to wrap some wire around this so it's well anchored. I'm going to do the first turn like this and somehow lock it, maybe turn it over itself like that. Get the needle nose and do something like this. Now, I'm improvising. This may or may not work. But as I said earlier, I've got nothing to lose. I've already, this is already useless as it is. And now, I'm going to wrap this a few times around here as tight as I can. And that 
and the strong chance of not coming off. Okay. So maybe we got something there. All right. Now I'm now going to take the mirror. And it's going to go something like that. Put the white. Actually, first of all, this is this stem is now useless. I'm going to cut this off right there. See that now. I'm going to take the wire and go and kind of weave it through the mirror like that, and then come back. If anything. Perhaps I should grab some more wire and use from here, strip off another few inches of wire, okay, stripping wires with wire cutters is tricky but my wire strips are, can't find them. So, and we're going to twist this onto here like that. The two wires are fastened together. And since I've lost my soldering iron and the pile of junk in the garage and back, we're going to have to rely on a mechanical winding. And we're not going to solder it. Something like that. And then, put the mirror like this, pull it as tight as I can. And keep winding the wire using the needle nose pliers as leverage. Now we now I think I've got decent fastening, and I'm going to cut it off right about say there. Okay. Now we get the, the the mirror more or less fastened to the stem. Now let's take this whole thing off the vise. I'm going to zoom back a little bit. Well, folks, I cannot find the duct tape, so we're going to have to live with electrical tape. I know that's politically incorrect. I've been criticized many times for doing this. But it only has to last until I buy another roll of duct tape, since my roll is uh, irretrievably lost. Um, now, mind you, by the way, I didn't mention, but this is rubber. So the winding of the wire digs into the rubber. I'm confident that the mirror will stay on. I'm just using the tape, but the mirror can be held steady and won't be flopping around. I'm pretty certain that it's just not, if it flopped around, it's still not going to go anywhere. So I'm just going to try to get this so the mirror is kind of rigid, okay? And it looks like that might be it. Let me do a little more tape on there. that another layer of tape to hold the mirror rigid again it doesn't have to hold it on it just has to provide some rigidity to the mirror something like that now let me try to put it on and adjust it let me bring the zoom back out Alright, <clears throat> I'm going to put the helmet on. The whole point of a bicycle mirror is so you can see what the heck's behind you. So, right behind me is the door of the room. So, let me just see if I can do the twisting and turning of the stem. And can I arrange it so that the mirror is pointing back behind me? Put it up a little bit. And uh, let's see, it's not quite there. That is, I see the bench. Let me twist it some more. Move it up a little bit. Move it out. And there, I can see the door behind me. So that looks reasonable. So it looks like this is successful. So I've got more life out of this mirror without spending anything. And the bicycle shop can keep the $20 repair kit and I can I have proven that with a little ingenuity and improvisation and thinking out of the box you can do your own repairs 
and have your things get more life for virtually for free. So I hope this helps. Pass along this video to others and copy it as well. Um, I have no goal of making money. I just want to let everybody know they can do their own repairs and not have to pay as much money. Thank you.